Well, we're back to Fog Racing here, bringing you a tier list fed. First one on Fog Racing of the 2020 drivers in anticipation of the season beginning. Alright, so we've got uh, five lists here, five categories. There's GOAT, World Class, Great, Good, and um... for some reason it says C, but I can just easily type that out. I mean, I don't know why, actually. I mean, I typed, I mean, I mean, I typed in average. Now, the reason it might say how come you've got no shite or bad or poor, but let's be real. If if you're on the if you're on a formula if you're on the formula one grid, you're not you you can't be that bad. So at worst, I'd say you're average. Like see when they turn around and say, well, if you're in the F one grid, you're in the top twenty drivers at that. Car. No, I know that's, no, that, bullshit. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. But you're a good driver. Well, average, you're getting points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you 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 put if you're in Formula One, I'd expect you to like fucking go on top gear and beat Anthony Joshua. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So we're just gonna go from uh, there's no particular order here. We're just gonna go from left to right and um, put the the drivers into which positions we believe they should be in. And we've got Alexander Albon. Straight away, I'm, what are you hank- gonna... I'm hanking. It's good or average, like I'd say it's probably bought my good. Yeah. I put, probably put him in good. I just think. I don't know. I, think he, I just don't. I don't think he's got anything particularly about him that makes me go, well, you know what? To me, I don't think he should win a Red Bull. To me, he's literally every Toro Rosso driver we've had that have not made it. Yeah. And like um, you have Jamie Algasquaris and your Sebastian Blemies. Yeah, and... your Bordeaux, your, uh, your fucking job, job squads. Um, but anyway, Kimmy, up next. Um, this this is based off current, not. Oh, is that what it's based off? Right, okay. Um, well, what, what, what are we doing? We well, what? No, I mean, well, obviously it's based off current. All right, so it's not based off all time. No, because it's not an all time list. It's based off. I still say time he's great. Like, I'd yeah, say I'd say he's great. He's definitely not. He's not world class anymore. Like, no. Uh, if it was overall, if it was his overall career, I'd put him in the world class category. But I mean, people say Kimmy's Bernard Alonso, but the, what I would say is, you, you look at Kimmy, and I'd say through F one, through his career, he's had like four or five great seasons. Whereas literally every season Alonso's had, he's been great, and that's not even bullshit. Literally every single season Alonso's, even Alonso's worst. You look at Alonso's worst seasons. And it's being because the cars are dog shit. I know. Whereas you, you look at some of Kimmy's worst seasons, and I mean, the guy got smashed by Massa. I mean, if you look at him, he wasn't that overly impressive against Grosjean. He, he got beat by Fettel. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um. Next up, we've got Valtteri Bottas. I'll let you put this one, then I'll put I'll put my two cents. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'd say he's at this. I think at this moment of time he's better than Kimmy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying he ain't right, but great to me. He's not a world class driver. To me, he's like great. I think he's. I, I know, but like, would you describe Bottas as great? I think he's very fast. I. Yes, I, I, I'm not going to say he's pissed because he, he gets beat up Hamilton because. Well, but like we talked you about, make, you can make a case. But like we talked about in our driver ratings, the guy's quick. Right, I'm not going to say he's not. He's not the quickest. But his race craft is that bad. He's a boring bastard. I mean, Kimmy's gimmick where he's just ice cold. This guy's ice cold, but he's pish. Look, it's not, it's not about gimmicks. It's about abilities. And I think at this stage, I think in, 20, I think in 2020, if you put Kimmy and Bottas in the same car, Bottas wins. Oh, so do I. But I just don't think great is the right word to describe Bottas. So where are you putting him? Well, yeah, above Kimmy, but <laughs> I, no, I just don't think... I wouldn't describe him as great. Right, but... you, you wouldn't have a Mercedes drive if you weren't great. I'm sorry, you, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't. You, you wouldn't have got all no, those, well, You wouldn't have got those podiums for Williams and beat Massa all the time if you weren't great. My right, fair enough. You're entitled to your opinion. That's what we're all about. We're all about the love, man. Well, let us know, guys, down below. What do you think he bought us? I certainly wouldn't describe him as world class, but I'd say he's great. Anyway, up next. Um, Max for start. Speaking of world class, I'd, I'd say this guy's world class. Yeah, I mean, I think he will be in the GOAT. 
eventually, but we can't give a guy go who's had eight race wins. Yeah, I mean his pace is fantastic at times. At times he he seems like certain races where he seems like he's in a world of his own. But I think he's still very error prone. Yes. And for that reason alone, bro, it limits him. Yeah, it's, it's, he's liable, I think, to mistakes and errors. So I did put him yeah. in the, the world class. Put him in the the WC man. Um, next up, Carlos Sainz. I'm thinking great. See, I'd say Carlos Sainz is great again. I honestly think he'd beat Kimi and Bottas over a season. I think he would. Well, we're gonna find out how good he is because he's moved to Ferrari. Um, I would probably put him in between Kimi and Bottas. Like, yeah, I think the only thing, I think the only thing holding him back, he hasn't had a top team to because like, McLaren. They're just, I mean, they're not a top three team. Maybe after, maybe in twenty twenty one, I'll put him above Bottas. Like racecraft wise, I think yeah, he'd I think he'd, um, I think he could easily be in the category above next year if he performs well in the Ferrari. Once we see what he's all about. Damn right, and talking about the category above, brother, we've got Leclerc. I'm thinking well, class, behind, I yes, mean, behind Max. Yeah, I, I, I'd say behind Max because I think I think these two will be in the goat. Yeah, I'd say Leclerc's good. Got about fifteen years ahead of them. Well, like, I don't know. I just, I just think Max at his best seems better than Leclerc at his best. Yeah. Yes. 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 But it's all ifs and buts. I mean, I wouldn't say there's much between them. I'd, pro- I'd probably say Leclerc's consistently better. Yeah, I don't think he makes as much. I mean, like, he makes mistakes by himself, but I think in terms of like defending and attacking, I'd say like Max is pretty good at attacking. I'd say Leclerc's probably the better defender. I'd say Leclerc's better racecraft than Verstappen. But I think they get the F1 game rated for starting the best race car. Yes. And then next up Which we've got um the guy's 94 rated in the F1 game. Bro, it's no, I mean, I'm not going to... I mean, he has to be a goat, doesn't he? He's like, probably the only guy in goat. I mean, there's only, I think there's only one other guy you could suggest in goat, and to me, uh, certainly. he's bottom a fucking one or top of the other one. <laughs> Brother. Um, <laughs> Who is it? Up next, it is... Yeah, I mean, but Hamilton, he's the man. I, I mean, there's nothing else to say, Hamilton... I mean, there's only a few drivers I would put in the GOAT category. Well, I mean, cause I, I'm not counting fucking Senna and Prost. People would probably put them in it. But I can't put them in it. Well, I could, but I don't really... I, haven't, I mean, you haven't fucking watched them. So only three drivers I'd put in the GOAT category, like it's the only three drivers I've seen, would be Schumacher, Alonso, Hamilton. To me, they're GOATs. GOATs. And then when I think of world uh-huh. class, um, like... Kimi in his prime I'd put in world class. Nico Rosberg I'd put in world class. Is there anyone else? I'm trying to think. It probably is. Fettel at his best I'd probably put in world class. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he'd still put Fettel in world class. Like, but it would, I mean, he wouldn't be as high up as he would have been before. Um, I think Montoya showed signs of being world class. Mm-hmm. But he was so fucking error prone. But anyway, you get my point. The goats are the goat categories sealed off. Right next up, we've got Pierre Gasly, um, above Albon. I think. I think Pierre Gasly's better than Albon. Right, but he's only good. He's not great. Yeah, Ocon. I would put Ocon above Gasly and Albon for the simple fact is I thought he did very good against Press. I think's great. Yeah, I mean, I'm maybe tempted to put Ocon bottom a great, but then again... I, don't, I haven't seen enough. Yeah, that's... Like, I know you could say, oh, he's had the same amount of seasons as Leclerc, but let me tell you something, brother. Ferrari. Ocon didn't get four poles in a Right. Lance Stroll, I'll just, I'll just put him average. in Average, he has to be average. One of the worst ones you'll see. I mean, he's, he's a pay driver, is what it is. I mean, I mean he's, he seems no bad in the wet, and he can pull off the odd podium, because he's a lucky bastard, but apart from that... Um, Kevin Magnussen. I honestly rate Magnussen above Gasly and Albon. Yeah, probably. Like I, I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna be biased, but I think the Haas has been shit. Doesn't help that like Grosjean's driving it. 
Yeah. Because, I mean, Mag- Magnuson in 2014 McLaren was pretty good. Oh, will stick him in. Why not? And he smoked Palmer. I know everyone smokes Palmer, but you get my point. It was consistent with what Hulkenberg was doing. Fair enough. Up next. Daniel Kofiat. Um, um, I think I, I, I'd put him up, but I'd put him in between. Is he better than Magnuson? Or... I'd say he is. I think this guy was. I, I think, think this guy's this, quick. This guy didn't say he got demoted because Max for start. He didn't get demoted because he was doing a bad job. Yeah, he made one mistake in Russia, and basically they used that to, to fuck him over. Him. Yeah. And I, I think it's kind of hectic. I um. Do you not? Know? I know. I mean. They could have at least waited, but I, did I blame them for not waiting to the end of the season? It was like, fuck me, you've got someone... But, but, wait, up, but why didn't they just demote him at the start of the season? Or, you know what I mean? I don't think they knew how good Max was going to be, to be honest. I'm sure Max was already... I know, I know. He already had a season. I want to see. No, they probably didn't want to do anything hasty after. Yeah, but Kofiat beat Ricardo the seat. Not true. That is, I mean, it would, <laughs> what could they say? You, I mean, you, you've... All right, Kofiat, you've come in and... Smashed the guy that won three races. Well, he didn't smash him, like, but you've come in and beat the guy that won three races last season and smashed Vettel. We're gonna we're gonna demote you into Toro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Um, Kvyat we'll got off to a bad start. Although he did have a podium, he had the one podium at the start of two thousand six, but he didn't go sixteen. Two thousand sixteen. Six. He didn't go off to the greatest start, and then he had that collision with Vettel in Russia, and Vettel fucking spat the dummy as Vettel does, and. And then basically he was demoted and that's it. That was pathetic. Every time Felt has a crash with his teammate, he's like constantly on the radio blaming the other people. I'm surprised. Just um, a bit of blame. No, I would, personally. They gave Albon half a season this year. And uh, they gave uh, Gasly half a season. I just stuck Kofiat back in the Red Bull this year. And and I think to make up... Do you know what I mean? That's, that's what I'd have done. I don't know. Because we haven't seen Kofiat against Max, and then you could have judged all three of them against Max. Exactly. We've seen Kofiat against Ricardo, and he wasn't exactly buried, yeah, like, you exactly. know. I mean? but so, next up, we have got Nicholas Latifi, and he's unproven. He spent he six had, years in F2. He has, he has, has to, to be above. Last. Throw, like, I mean, above? Has to below. Yeah, so, I mean, mm-hmm. not much to say about Latifi. He's another pay driver. No, it's an wee pattern here in the, the average category. Right, Serb Furrow. Currently? Well, yeah, it's, yeah, that's what it is. I would put him. I'd put him. between Kimi and Sainz. Yeah, I mean, I was. What were you gonna say? I was maybe gonna put him above Sainz, but I think Sainz would be him. So he's replacing fucking. F- you know what I mean, <laughs> oh, I know, but not everyone who you replace is better than you. But I get. Well, no, but I think in this. Well, I think I think Sainz has done a better job in the McLaren in the last few years than and Vettel could have ever done. Than, than Vettel's done in the Ferrari, and, and like yeah, like you said, he's ever done so. Um, Antonio Giovinazzi. Fuck the question is, is he better or worse than Stroll? I think he's worse. I'd say he's probably on average better than Stroll, but I think Stroll's got the odd glimpse of something he can do. Like I said with the podium, I know he lucked into it, but. A shit brother. Anyway, though, Danny. Rick. Danny Rick. I'm thinking top of great. You think my car's better than Bottas? Yeah. And say so he's the more all round package, brother. He put him top of great, but not bottom of world class. Let's be honest, yeah, he's pretty good, like. Yeah, but he had a pretty even season with Hulkenberg, like. And with Hulkenberg, I mean, what would you be talking? Would Hulkenberg be up at top of fucking great? Nah, Hulkenberg would be, like, towards the bottom of great, wouldn't he? Or top of good. Yeah, I'm putting him there. Alright, okay. Right, um, To be fair, I think pace-wise against Max for start, mate, he couldn't really live with him. Yeah, he was always consistently about three times off. But then again, you look at that with that China Grand Prix. Max had the win in his hands. And he fucking balled it. And he fucking spun out. Was it Hamilton he spun out or fell? And then, you know, Ricardo was behind him. And So, I mean, Ricardo's obviously more level-headed. Better overtaker, in my opinion, than Max. Even though most people would say Max is. I think Ricardo's a better overtaker. Probably better on his tyres. But outright pace, I don't think he's... That's probably what lets him down. 
Anyway, up next, we've got Perez. I'm hanging in between. I I actually would put Perez in between Vettel and Sainz, or Sainz and Bottas. I think Perez is really good. I think he deserves it. I think he's been a bit shafted. Like I think he deserves a top drive. Yeah, you know what? I mean, he's fucking. He co- I mean, he gets the car in the Q three and strolls in Q one. I know that's more strolls pish, but well, put it this way. I nah, fuck it, he's in there. I don't know if I'd stick him there, like, but I'd definitely be in the great category. I'd say he's more all round better than Boaz. I mean, I think Boaz would probably quicker, but Boaz's racecraft just drags. I mean, that that Bahrain race, I can't get that out of my skull. Yeah. Okay, James. Oh, See, I'm, I'm looking at Boaz, and it do, he kind of looks like banged in the middle, and he just doesn't look that great at the moment, does he? No. <laughs> no pun intended. Right, up next. Georgie Boy, Russell. Based on how dominant he was, I think, I guess I think he's behind Ocon. So you think he'd be out in Kvyat? Yeah, I would. I, I think he is. I think he's. I think he'll be in the Mercedes next season. Mm. Most people think Ocon will be in a Mercedes as well. Yeah, I think he's signed on the Renault big man. Right, fair enough. I mean, personally, I haven't put him above Kvyat yet. I don't think he's done enough for like, one season beating. I know, but I think you can tell when someone's. Well, let's be honest. Like he has, he dominated the last few virtual races, and that's to count for something, surely. Yeah. Right up next, Lando Norris. I think I'm between Ocon and Russell. You think Norris is better than Russell? Well, I'm not, I don't know because I think based off last season, at least you've passed. You can't really base Russell off. I know, like I know, I put him there, but I do think he has a legit pace. But I'd say Lord Norris is good. Like I think he's good. Like I just want to put him. No, but I mean, we're put, we're 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 giving Russell an, an awful lot of fucking hang just because he won a couple of fake races. Well, yeah. To be fair, I'd have put Russell behind if he like. But I mean, yeah, stick it hand. All right, and then Roman Grosjean. See, this is a guy that I thought was good back when he drove for Lotus. But we're not basing on what he did for his Lotus. Cause he did, I think he did alright against Kimmy. I'd it, say. Or was, it, or was it Kimmy being that shit? I'd say he's bought him a good. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I think, he, I think on his day. I think if this was back in 2013, like, he'd be fucking top end of great. But he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's either bought him a good or, or top of average. I wouldn't put him in average. I'd say he has pace. Like, I'd say everyone down here. Legit doesn't have pace and it's pretty shit. Yeah, but see, see, Grosjean was that Lo- was Grosjean really good that year? Or was that Lotus car fucking fantastic? But see, but if that's the thing, then how's Kimmy rate so highly? I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'd put him bottom a good eye. And there we go. See, I mean, people like to rip the piss at the guy because he crashes and shit, but he, he is he is pretty fast. I think Ericsson hit us. <laughs> I mean, he hits into the bottom of good, Robert. He, he smoked Maldonado, like, who had a win, and a Williams, so. Gotta be good for something there. But anyway, I'll do it for this tier list. Leave it down below if you'd make any changes. But until then. So, until then, let us know what you think. Do you agree with our list? Um, Personally, I do. I mean, I think most of the drivers in F1 are good, great. But I, I agree the fact that we've only got two people in the world class category and one person in the We'll put goal. it this way, right? No, 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 I think... Because I think CV had, CV had, like, Ricardo and you had Bottas and you had Fett on, so I think you're watering down the category. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, well, so, I, I think the two drivers we've got in world class are probably the only two in the grid that would beat Hamilton their championship right now. In the same car? Well, yes, and in current machinery. Uh yeah, well, I mean, Bottas has had a couple of seasons and he's not got anywhere close to doing it. Has like, it? I'm not saying Danny Rick couldn't beat Hamilton, but I just don't think he has I don't the think pace. He's, uh, I don't think he has the pace, no. I mean, if he could get... Like, to me, Danny Rick, it kind of reminds me of Rosberg in a way. I think Rosberg was faster. No, I know, yeah, I know he's faster, but, but good at other things. Danny Rick probably had better racecraft than Rosberg, yeah. I'd say, but Rosberg, I think Rosberg's pace was... You know, forgetting Rosberg's... Is what I mean. Rosberg kind of did it. Rosberg did it at Williams. What Alonso did at Renault, really? 
I mean, see when Ron Alonso was smoking fucking Nelson Piquet Jr. and, and Grosjean and that other bum no, they partnered up. Nakajima? I mean... I see he was smoking. Ross, well, sh- it counts, man. Fuck it, I think Rosberg's... He didn't Ros- do himself any favours by jobbing out, though. If Rosberg... 2016 Rosberg, I'd put at the top of world class. Yes. I don't think you can argue with that. And that's it, guys. Till next time, that is our list. Let us know what you think down below. We um, went 20 minutes, so leave it down below. Check out all the other shit, the games, all the good gear. Till then, peace.